So, for the topic of the sermon today, it is called freedom, true freedom. Now, we live in America which, in which we value freedom so much, right? You get to say what you want, do what you want, believe what you want, live the way you want, and we consider this our freedom. However, a lot of times when people critique us or say, hey, I don't like the way you dress, I don't like your choices, one of the biggest answers we tell people is, tough, this is who I am, this is what I am, this is who I am. The very interesting thing is we don't realize that by holding on to who we are, by believing in what we are or the idea of who we should be, that in itself is taking away our freedom. Because freedom is the freedom to change, the freedom to grow, the freedom to be what you should be, like the growth process of it. However, we tend to focus on what we think we are and we fight for that. Instead of taking the criticism and growing or learning from the mistakes that we do, we tend to hold fast to this concept of who we are. And that is what's dangerous. That is when we don't truly have freedom. We're actually a slave to our own ideas. We're a slave to our own ideas of who we should be or who, what we think we are. Whether it be nationality, race, you know, sexual orientation, these things are all things that we become a slave to. We label ourselves based on what we are. I'm a young person, I'm a man, I'm a woman. We label ourselves and therefore we refuse to learn what other people have to offer. If men are so held up on being men, I'm gonna be a tough guy. We don't get to learn the sensitive sensitivity, the, the carefulness, the caring of women. But if women are so intent on being women, you don't get to learn the strength, the, the nonchalantness of men. We miss these things because we're so content in just what we are, but we don't realize that we're putting a shell on ourselves. We're putting a label on ourselves and we don't get to grow. And that's what stops people. That's what creates discrimination. That's what creates hatred and comparison, is when people stop growing and they're content with just what they are. But in reality, as human beings, we never stop growing. Information never stops flowing. We have the option to watch us, around us, to see everything around us and take in the information, to learn from it and to become greater, bigger, stronger. However, when we stop growing, when we become content, that's when we have to stop and fight other people to protect ourselves, to prevent ourselves from growing. And that is a big cause of the issues in our lives. And that's why Lung Pa says, whenever you have the concept of me, or the concept of this belongs to me, that's when troubles will follow. You have to defend yourself. You have to protect your things. And because of this, that's where all suffering in the world comes from. The sense of the ego, and the sense of the ego and its belongings. So the way to become free in the way that the Buddha taught, or in the ways of the wise men or wise women of the past, is to not cling to your sense of self. You can be anything. You can grow to be anything. You can learn anything. And you are constantly moving and growing. You are not one thing. You will never be just one thing. So never be content with just what you are. It's okay to be happy with what you are, but you should always be growing. When someone says, hey, your room's too messy, don't just say, this is how I like it. Say, well, what can I do to make it better? How can I learn from this? Or someone says, you're lazy. This is just my style. These things are cop-outs. These things are things that keep you down. But if you continue to grow, whether it's criticism or compliments, you grow from it, you learn from it, you will become the ultimate. Just like in the Dragon Ball movies, you grow to become your Super Saiyan. How do you do that? Through constant practice, through constant growth. Whenever you fight a battle with someone and they beat you, what do they do? They learn those techniques. They learn that style. Whatever style it is, they learn it and they master it and they become a better version of themselves. But if they were to say, well, this is what my teacher taught. This is all I ever practice. They limit themselves, and that's all they'll ever be. So the person who does not hold themselves down is the person who is truly free, and the person who will truly be happy for a long, long time. So I hope that today, from the little sermon that we've given here today, we can free ourselves from our own slavery, our own holding ourselves back, and become the full potential of the person that we can be and we should be.